Hi, I'm Albert Wuch and I'm here in Texas with Outdoor Solutions Field to Table. And I'm going to demonstrate how to prepare a brine. So the objective of a brine is to tenderize it, to flavor it, and to prevent the growth of microorganisms. It's a type of food preservation. So we're going to use some basic ingredients for our brine. Some Morton Tender Quick, which is in a sense curing salt. We've got some sugar, which will also dry, tenderize flavor some onion powder, garlic powder, and some pickling spice. We're just gonna blend all the dry ingredients together and then we're gonna incorporate them into our boiling water. We're only gonna use half the water because the other half will cool it so that we don't have to wait so long for it to, for it to cool down. So we've got our curing salt here. We're gonna add the spices, this garlic powder, onion powder, they always want to add the dry ingredients together. This is our sugar, which you could use uh, ha literally half the Morton Tender Quick and half sugar because the sugar and the salt inhibit the growth of microorganisms. So we would do the same thing if you were making Gravlox or cured salmon. So I'm going to add the rest of this salt, just blending it together, especially like if you use uh, dried mustard, uh, you know, really, really fine powders. You want to mix them white pepper. You want to mix them up good with something else so that they don't lump on you. Now this one, this is pickling spice. We could add literally a half of this cup of pickling spice, but we don't, I'm not going to try to make corn, but I do want to add some of the flavors from the allspice and the peppers and the mustard seeds and things like that that are in here. When you're going to inject it, you need to strain this out because if you use the needle from your turkey injector and you leave the spice in there, it's going to clog it up. So you want to strain this out before you draw it up into an injection needle. So we've got some boiling water in Cafalon stainless steel. You don't want to use aluminum. When you're adding lots of salts like this, you don't want to use aluminum, especially to store it in. So I'm just going to pour it in here now. I don't have to worry about lumps. Give it a stir. I'll put it back on the range for just, uh, just to bring it up to a boil. All of this will dissolve. Now again, I'm dissolving this in half the amount of liquid because it can dissolve in half the amount and then I'll add another two quarts of cold water to this and chill it down. So we're just going to pour this hot mixture that dissolved all the salts and sugars and steeped the uh, pickling spice. It smells really good. It smells really good. And we're just going to add this cold liquid to it and then let it sit for a little while and it's ready to go. So again, if you're going to use the injection needle, you want to use a sieve or strain this to get those uh, pickling spices out of there because it'll clog your needle. After you get it in a bag or in a container, you could always add more pickling spices as it brines. So when we brine, we want to use less tender cuts. As an example, with beef, we would corn it or pickle it to make corned beef. We use the brisket. It's stringy. It's chewy. It's really fatty. We pickle it and brine it. So we change the flavor, make it tender, reduce the fat, and, uh, and to preserve that piece of meat. So we're going to do the same thing with our uh, boar shanks or venison shanks or the legs and thighs of a goose or a turkey. You can brine a duck, waterfowl. So all these different meats are all interchangeable. So that's the concept of this brine. So the other reason that I like to use brines on game, because game has very little fat. So our objective is to keep the moisture in the meat. So by adding a brine and injecting it and or cutting it up and putting it in a brine, we're adding moisture to that meat so that the meat's gonna stay nice and moist and tender, flavorful. You wanna get that injection needle right down next to the bone and you work out. We call it stitch pumping or basically about every one or two square inches. And the objective is to get about 10 to 20% of its so-called green weight which would be if the meat weighed 10 pounds, we want to get one to two pounds of brine into that 10 pound meat. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications.